Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today the topic of our discussion is how to calculate the number of hydrogen bond in a DNA molecule using a simple formula. This is often a very common question in competitive exams of biology. Let's begin with the key point to solve this question. So this is a double stranded DNA molecule. The two strands are connected by hydrogen bonds between the nitrogenous bases. Let us zoom in this region. We have already given a video on how to calculate the number of phosphodiester bond. So you can refer that video also. The hydrogen bonds are present between the nitrogen species that connects the two strands. Here comes the hydrogen bond. Guanine pairs with cytosine with three hydrogen bonds. Then thiamine pairs with adenine by two hydrogen bonds. Therefore number of hydrogen bond between adenine and thiamine is 2 whereas number of hydrogen bond between guanine and cytosine is 3. This base pairing is as per the Charkov's rule. So we can have an equation like this. Number of hydrogen bonds in a DNA molecule is equal to 2 into number of AT base pairs plus 3 into number of GC base pairs. Here 2 the number of hydrogen bond between A and T whereas 3 represents the number of hydrogen bonds between G and C. Let us work out some problems. First question, what is the number of hydrogen bonds in a double helical BDNA structure of 100 base pairs with 30 adenine residues in one of the two strands? So there are 30 adenine residues. Number of hydrogen bond between A and T is 2 whereas number of hydrogen bond between G and C guanine and cytosine is 3. Here total number of base pairs is given which is 100. This makes a base pair G and C makes a base pair A and T makes a base pair and these are bases A, A, G, C, C these are bases. So here the number of adenine residues or bases are given. It is 30. Therefore, as per the Chagov's rule, the number of thiamine residues will also be 30. Adenine will always pair with thiamine. Therefore, if adenine residues are 30, thiamine residues will also be 30. Then, total number of AT base pairs, then the number of base pairs will be total number of residues by 2, that is 60 by 2, that is 30 base pairs. A and T makes one base pair. So if there are 30 adenine residues and 30 thiamine residues, the number of base pairs will be 30 base pairs. Therefore the number of GC base pairs is equal to 100 minus 30 that is 70 base pairs. Now let us substitute the value in the equation. Number of hydrogen bonds in a DNA molecule is equal to 2 into number of AT base pairs plus 3 into number of GC base pairs. So 2 into 30 AT base pairs plus 3 into 70 GC base pairs. 60 plus 210 that gives 270 hydrogen bonds. Hope this much is clear. This is a very direct question. Now moving into the second question. In a 68 nanometer long DNA molecule, adenine constitutes 25%, how many hydrogen bonds would be present between the strands? Here the length of the DNA molecule is given. Therefore what we know is the distance between adjacent base pairs is 0.34 nanometer or 3.4 Armstrong. Therefore the length of the DNA molecule is given which is 68 nanometer. And I have converted that into Armstrong, 68 into 10, that makes 680 Armstrong. So both the units should be same. You can calculate using nanometer also, then both should be in nanometer, both value should be in nanometer. If you are using Armstrong, then both value should be in Armstrong. Now therefore total number of base pairs is equal to 680. This total length is 680 which is given by 3.4 that is the distance between adjacent base pairs 
Now the total number of base pairs will be 200 base pairs. 680 by 3.4 will be getting 200 base pairs. Now out of which 25% are adenine. Therefore, the percentage of thiamine residues will be 25%. This is as per Charkov's rule. If adenine is 25%, then thiamine will also make 25%. Therefore, number of 80 base pairs is equal to 50% of 200. That is 200 into 50 by 100. That is 100 numbers. And number of GC base pairs will be 200 minus 100. If there are 180 base pairs, the remaining will be GC base pairs, that is 200 minus 100, 100 base pair. Now we can substitute the value in the equation. Number of hydrogen bonds in a DNA molecule is equal to 2 into 80 base pair plus 3 into GC base pairs. Therefore, 2 into 100 plus 3 into 100, that is equal to 200 plus 300. The answer is 500 hydrogen bonds. So in this question we need to find out the number of base pairs from the data given that is the length of DNA molecule. So the key point is distance between adjacent base pair or nucleotide pairs is 3.4 Armstrong or 0.34 nanometer. That is the key point that is required to solve this question. Moving into the third question. What is the number of hydrogen bonds in a double helical BDNA structure of 100 base pairs with 20 adenine and 10 thiamine in one of the two strands? This is somewhat same as that of the first question. So this, is, this data what we know is the number of hydrogen bond between A and T is 2 whereas number of hydrogen bond between G and C is 3. Number of adenine residues is given 20, therefore number of thiamine residues will also be 20. The number of thiamine residues is also given, therefore number of adenine residues will be 10. Then total number of 80 base pairs, it will be the sum of these two, 20 plus 10, that is 30. Out of 130 are 80 base pairs, therefore number of GC base pairs is 100 minus 30, that is 70. Now we can substitute the value in the equation number of hydrogen bonds in a DNA molecule is into number of 80 base pairs plus 3 into number of GC base pairs that is 2 into 30 80 base pairs plus 3 into 70 GC base pairs that makes 270 hydrogen bonds. So this question is somewhat similar to that of the first question but the wording is slightly different. Here it is given as 20 adenine and 10 thiamine residues. Now the final question. The length of a DNA molecule is 340 Armstrong. It contains 20% cytosine. What is the total number of hydrogen bonds in between nitrogen spaces in that DNA? So let's begin. So here also as per the just like the second question it is given the length of the DNA molecule is given in Armstrong. Therefore the distance between adjacent base pairs as we know it is 3.4 Armstrong. Therefore the length of the DNA molecule is given which is 340 Armstrong. Therefore the number of base pairs will be 340 by 3.4 that is 100 base pairs. Out of 100 base pairs 20% are cytosine. Therefore percentage of guanine residues will also be 20% as per the Charkov's rule. So that makes 40%. Number of GC base pairs is equal to 20 plus 20, that is 40%. 40% 40 of 100, that is 100 into 40 by 100, that is 40 base pairs. Then the remaining will be 80 base pairs. Number of 80 base pair is equal to 100 minus 40, that is 60 base pairs. Now substituting the value into the equation. It's very simple. 2 into 60 plus 3 into 40 that is 120 plus 120 that is 240 hydrogen bonds. Hope you are clear with these questions. Thank you so much for your support. Send your suggestions and comments 
if you like this video please share like and subscribe thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforay.com